Set it off on the left, yo. Set it off on the left, yo. Set it off. Hey, hey y'all. What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. For everybody who is new, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoy what you hear and what you see. For everybody who has been rocking with me, thank you so much for sticking with me on this journey. Um, Today, today I wanted to talk about truth. Mmm, truth. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I am passionate about that word because I think we have somehow created our own version of it. We we have, and we need to stop. It's a problem. All right. Truth is not synonymous with feelings. Feelings change and are subject to outside influence. What happens when we feel depressed, down, unworthy, hopeless, dead? We must realize that we don't create the truth. There is truth that has been before us. We must learn that even when our truth becomes synonymous with our depressive feelings, God's truth remains. That should let us know that we cannot be dependent on our own manufactured truth, especially when it is based on something so malleable as our feelings. Yes. So you may have heard people... Uh, say every now and then like I'm living my truth living my truth and I may have touched on this before I'm not sure but I wanted to get into this today for real for real so hearing someone say I'm living my truth is I cringe when I hear that I'm like how many how many how many truths are there I just don't I don't know I'm not I don't get that um I know that everyone is not at the same place. I know that some people don't even desire to know God and uh, to each his own. Um, however, we do have some who claim to love God and then say that they're living their truth. But that is, you that clashes right there. You, you That's where we have the problem. Whenever you decide to follow God, you exchange your truth your way of doing things, your way of living, your life for his. And you realize later on that, okay, this was the best decision I could have ever made because his will is something that ends up benefiting me. You know, if we're really thinking about this, if it's hard for us to accept that we are um, letting go of ourselves um, per se, um, in exchange for someone else's life, will for my life, um, then if we can look at it from the perspective of the way that God works and the way that he um, works in our life, it always ends up flipping around and being something that changes our very lives, being something that benefits us and deposits into us. So it's it's interesting because when you do calculations in the world, one plus one equals two. But with God, it's not like that. With God, he is asking you to serve. He's asking you to give, to sacrifice, of to give of yourself. But in doing that, although we think that we're going to be depleted, we're actually replenished. Now, how does that add up? Now, how is that even possible? One plus one is not equaling two right here. Like, I'm just not understanding how this works, Lord. How did you even do that? Um, that is, that's probably, you know, how you're thinking when you hear that. But that's exactly what happens. 
It is not something that is easily explainable, but it happens that way. So don't think of it as I'm giving up my, you know, self, my whole, who I want to be, just to just be this other person who I'm not. No, <clears throat> you recognize that God's way is the best way. And if you're looking out for self, then you want to have the best for yourself. So it's just like any other thing. You don't sit at home and be like, well... I know that there is a, an orthopedic surgeon out there and I know that I have a broken femur. But what I'm saying is I feel like I have the best stuff for myself and I'm just not about to go to somebody else when I know me the best and I know that I can do this the best like for myself. No, you are going to go where you know that you can get the best for yourself. You, you, there's not one person that is everything at all times. You have to outsource. You have to go and get what is best for yourself. And um, that's the same idea with God. Okay, we're going to him, exchanging our own stuff for his. Because even if it doesn't feel like it, even if it doesn't seem like it, ultimately we know past our feelings, because we got to get past those sometimes because them things be trying to rule stuff. We can step outside of our feelings and say, Lord, I'm gonna look past all this stuff that I'm thinking and feeling and I know, I just know, I know, I know. You've given me the revelation that you are best for my life. Your way is best for my life. And so I'm exchanging mine for yours because I trust you. I trust you. Um, and so that's essentially what we're talking about here. When you say that you are living your truth, I hope that your truth is God's truth. I hope that if you're choosing or saying that you're choosing to live for God, I hope that you are living God's truth. Um, we like to take on things as long as it's convenient for us. So if I say I'm living my truth and, um, you know, it allows, and my truth allows me to love who I want to love and be with who I want to be with. And, you know, and I say, I love God at the same time, but I'm also living my truth and all of this. Um, okay, now I'm being benefited from it. But let me, let me show you how there is an error here in this process. Living, you've said you're living your truth. Okay, now in this moment, it seems that your truth is synonymous with what makes you feel good. With, with what you want. And that's essentially your feelings. But don't we know that feelings change? Feelings change. Just take a moment. Take a moment and ask yourself, how many times throughout the day do you feel 50 different kinds of ways? Yeah, you bipolar. I am too. I'm, I'm bipolar. I, I am too. So we can't, we can't depend on our feelings. We, <clears throat> someone once said that feelings are meant to indicate, not dictate. I love that saying because we often allow our feelings to lead us instead of helping, being a helpmate to us. Our feelings are not supposed to be in the leadership position. They're subject to so many different outside influences. And, you know, you know you're a sensitive person. My goodness, your truth is going to be 50 different things throughout the day because you're going to change the way you feel throughout the day. And I told you a moment ago, okay, we can look at it in a way that, okay, well, this this uh, supports what I feel. This, this makes me feel good. Uh, this is convenient for me right now, this way of thinking, this way of kind of letting my truth be, you know, just what I feel is right. But let me show you when that thing flips. Letting your truth be what you feel is right. What you feel. What you feel. In this paragraph that I just read, I talked about what happens when your feelings turn. And this is where we start getting into coming to the end of ourselves, we start to realize that we are human beings and that we don't have it by ourselves. 
when your feelings start being depressive feelings, feelings of unworthiness, um, feelings of inadequacies, like you, what happens to my truth? What happens to my truth? If my truth is synonymous with what I feel, what happens to my truth when my feelings take a nosedive? So what if I feel dead inside? What is the truth? What is the truth? We have to realize there is a truth that has existed before us. When my feelings in life take a nosedive, take a turn for the worst, I cannot continue to hang on to my feelings saying that that's just my truth. This is what I feel. I can't go by what I feel when I'm trying to make sure I'm living by the truth because what I feel changes. And when what I feel changes, I don't want to cause my own demise. If I feel dead, I cannot jump on the bandwagon and say, well, if I feel dead, I must be dead. Like that's not what, that doesn't make any sense at all. You are not dead. You are alive. There comes a moment where you have to look at your feelings and look at your truth in the eye and say, you lying to me right now. I, I, I know you done been on my side for so long in life, but right at this moment, you're not working for me. You are working against me. And if I continue to hang on to you, I am going to cause my own demise and I want to live. So what truth am I missing here? that I need to learn about. There must be something other than what I feel that is the truth. I must not be able to create or manufacture the truth. The truth is there whether I believe it, whether I agree with it, whether I feel it or think it, whether someone tells me it or not. That's how you know something is the truth. It is there it remains it can stand alone it can stand alone everybody in the world cannot believe it but it will stand alone it will remain that it is the truth okay um it's not gonna change every two seconds okay so think about how much you're willing to commit to your feelings. A lot of us have married our feelings and truth. And we've said, I'm going to make them one and the same. Whatever feels good to me is what I'm going to do and live. We can't do it. You will come to the end of yourself. Because everyone has down times. Everyone has down days. Everyone has, has a, a moments where we need to be picked up. Making your truth synonymous with your feelings is being fully reliant on self. And let me tell you about self. Uh-uh. <laughs> Don't do it. We are flawed, but we are made beautiful by the love that Christ has for us. We are made beautiful by how he helps us learn about ourselves, how he tells us about uh, one another. There is beauty in the ashes. We may feel a hot mess, but there's beauty in it, but we can't see it on our own. We need to be able to see it and, 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 and be fed even when we can't feed ourselves anymore. That means that truth lives outside of us. We don't create the truth. We don't embody the truth. We get the truth. We believe the truth. We follow the truth. It's something that's been here. Truth is not synonymous with your feelings because feelings change. Feelings are good. Feelings are bad. Feelings take nosedives. Your truth cannot take a nosedive with your feelings. And if you don't want that to happen, do not be fully reliant on self. Make sure that your truth is God's truth. If that is what you are choosing.
but it can't be both because you will come to the end of yourself. You will have those bad days and you will realize that I have to separate truth from my feelings right now. I ha this has to be a way of living, separating truth from feelings because it's not, it's not stable with just it being something that lives in me. My strength, my everything comes from God. Let's look at some verses here. Um, first one is John 14, 16, or John 14, 6. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. That's one thing we want to think about when we say, I love the Lord. Yes, I'm, I'm a follower of the Lord. But we live in our own truth. But how did you get how did you get there with your own truth? But because no one gets to the Father except through him. So if you're not living his truth, then how are you saying that you follow the Lord, that you love the Lord? No one gets to the Father except through him. His truth. He is the truth. Let's do another one. John 8, 32, and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. You will know the truth and not create the truth. Okay. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth, for he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak. He will declare to you the things that are to come. All of these verses suggest that the truth is something that has been there. It's, it doesn't suggest that you reach deep down inside and pull truth up out of you. It ain't in there. It ain't in there. You look to, you look to God for that truth. Okay? I hope this helps somebody. Um, be careful combining things and creating and manufacturing your own stuff, okay? Um, we're all in need of a savior. I can promise you that, all right? So let's ask ourselves today, whose truth am I living? Good question. All right, guys, I love you so much. And I thank you so much for watching today. Um, you know, it's all real over here all the time because it's the walk. Bye.